Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 8 of my FIFA 15 My Player Career on the Xbox One. And we've got Champions League game first up away from home. We're not doing too great in Europe to be fair. And let's see if we can get three points away to Zenit St. Petersburg. So travelling to Russia, it's going to be a bit cold. It's November the 3rd, 2015. Kai Kompf gets a start on that left wing. Let's see if we can have an impact on this game. So it's going to be Zenit to kick off in their light blue strip. Come on, lads. Let's win the possession. There we go. We've got possession early on in this game. Can we go out and get an attack and a goal, maybe? Ball over the top to nobody. That's going to go out, is it? No. Defender keeps it in. And clearance there by Zenit. Back into the possession of Ajax. Where's Kai Jr.? Here he is. He's on the left side. Good ball. Plays it inside towards Karuke. Kai's carried on his run. He's in the middle. He's got the ball now. Shoot. He shoots. Good save from the keeper there with a the rebound. Is Valauba, who gives Ajax a one goal lead after just 22 and a half minutes. I don't know if Kai Kong will get the assist for that one. His shot was saved by the keeper. Well, there was Villalba. To thump in the rebound. 1-0 will lead then. Good play there from Kuruke to find Kai Kwon. Good save keeper. And a nice finish. 1-0 will lead. First Champions League goal of the season then for Villalba. And into the second half we'll go. We've got 25 minutes remaining. We're still leading by one goal to nil. Zenit St. Petersburg in possession with Hulk. To Vixel. Now Danny back to Witzel. Plays it through. Witzel again. Oh, just over the bar. That would have been a good goal there for Zenit. Great play by Alex Vixel, wherever his name is. And there is a substitution. And carcom has gone off, unfortunately. So I'm hoping that Ajax did the job and finished it off. We've played eight games so far this season. Scoring five goals. We've got two assists. So this will be our ninth game of the season. We're back in the league in Holland. Or the Netherlands, whichever you want to call it. Currently 93 rated overall. So we're still growing. Got a long way to go yet, though, if we're going to reach the 80s and 90s. It's going to be Ajax to kick off. And here's Kai Jr. Losing possession straight away from kickoff. And they see. Can they go on an early attack? Good pass in play midfield. Nice little back heel there. And well played. Anderson winning possession back for Ajax. So 15 minutes in. Ajax defending. Get the ball upfield. It's a good ball upfield, actually. Straight on that left wing. And it's found Kai Jr. We need somebody to run in the area. Come on. He's trying to hold up the ball well. Klaassen knocks on to Anderson. Who gives it to Villalba. Back to Anderson. And that should have been a goal. He was through on goal. He had more time than he expected. And he put it high and wide. So into the second half. Five minutes into the second period. And they see with Boateng on the ball. Pressurising there by Ajax. Well played. Kai's made his run through the middle. Villalbao finds Kai Jr. He cuts it back and he scored. Kai Jr. 51 minutes gone. It's Ajax 1. NAC 0. Good counter attack there by Ajax. Good pressure on the defenders. And we take the lead. Fourth league goal of the season then for Kai Jr. We'll do wonders for his stats. And just over an hour gone. Still leading by a goal to nil. Passing well here. The Dutch champions, of course, looking to retain our title. Well played. Defender went sliding in. And a nice through ball towards Kai. He cuts inside, looking for his second, and he's found it. Kai Jr. scored again. 66 and a half minutes gone, and he's looking for a hat trick. Where's he going? He's running all the way down. Halfway down the field. And there he is, celebrating in front of the benches. Telling the manager, you got to play me. I'm scoring goals like this. you got to play me more. It was a good run by him. Even though he was supposed to be playing on that left wing. There was nobody else striker. So he ran straight through. Got the through ball. And puts away his fifth league goal of the season. 17 minutes remaining. Kai Jr. with the cross. Unlucky. Almost got to the player. And now NAC looking to attack. No, they've lost the ball. Murich. Anderson finds Kai Jr. Beautiful through ball by Kai Jr. Oh, Villalba puts it over the crossbar. A good chance again for Ajax. Unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, no. Kai's been substituted again. 14 minutes remaining on the clock. 
and Kai Jr. has been substituted in two games in a row. Let's see where he is in the current squad rankings. There he is, 18th place, overall rating of 63. Form is 7.7, .7, so he's playing really well for us so far. Let's have a quick look at Kai Jr.'s attributes. See if they've gone up anymore. Nine games, seven goals. Oh, yeah, we've got quite a few going up. Plus fours, plus twos, plus threes. Uh, a couple of there reaching the 70s as well. So a couple of them will turn green, hopefully soon, if we stay in this good form. But next up, we've got FC20 away from home in the league, I believe this is. Yeah, it's in the league. So it's going to be a tough game. FC20, a decent team. Well, hopefully, Kai Kwam Jr. will have more of a say in this match and get a couple of goals. So, Klaassen playing it out wide onto that right side, straight from kickoff. And here's Dessar losing out in midfield, but he wins it back. Unfortunately, it goes back to a FC20 player, though. A quiet first half, and Dessar is being replaced now by Robert Murich. 22 minutes remaining on the clock. The rain's falling. Can Ajax find a winner from somewhere? On comes Murich, then number 18 for Ajax. Can hear the fans booing. I'm not sure what for. Dirk Kite playing it forward. A chance here for 20. On the edge of the area, shoots. Good save keeper. Holds on to it. And the score remains 0-0. Kai Kwam Jr. has had a quiet game so far. He's only on a 5.9 rating. And he's got the ball now, has he? No, he's not going to get to that. It was a poor, poor pass. By the Ajax left back. Just a couple of minutes to go. Ajax with an attack possibly. Kai Kwam Jr. Oh, he's pulled up. He was going to run straight through the middle there, but he's pulled up. I'm hoping that's not going to be a long injury. We're into the last minute. Cross and they've scored. Ajax have taken the lead in the very last minute. Kai Jr. is probably on the floor. He's pulled his hamstring or something. But that didn't stop. Ajax from pushing forward and taking advantage and taking the goal and taking the lead. A lot of takings there. We took the three points as well. Hopefully we have anyway. Couldn't really miss from there. Good finish. Davy Klaassen for his fourth league goal of the season in the 90th minute. Is Kakum okay or is he being substituted again? He looks like he's going to be substituted. He is. He's coming off. At least we got to play 90 minutes in that one. And let's see. Is he out for long? He's going to be out, but how long for? Okay, get rid of that. Two weeks with a pulled calf. Damn. So not too long. I'm happy with two weeks. I don't mind two weeks. But we're missing Champions League game against Roma. Is this the last one of the group stage? It might be. Or is there another one? I'm not sure. But let's see if Ajax can do the job without Kai Jr. We've not had the greatest of European runs so far this season. Come on, Ajax, do the job. Uh, we lost 2-0 Pjanic and Destro with the goals for Roma. Giving them a two-goal win and three points for them. And we're going to miss in the next game, of course, against Excelsior. We're away from home, 28th of November. So just over a month away before the transfer window opens, will I get my move away in that window? Only on loan, of course. I don't want to move full-time. Oh, we lost against Excelsior, 1-0. That's gutted. SC Cambor next up. This time we're at home. Hopefully the home advantage will get us back onto winning ways. Come on, lads. Skip. 4-1 win and a hat-trick for Anderson. The other goal scorer was Leslie Dessar. So good win there for Ajax. Back onto winning ways. Let's have a quick look at the European group stage. We've got one game to go and we'll look at that. We are bottom. We're not going to be qualifying for the next round, unfortunately. But we can still play for that third place to put it into Europa League. And as you can see there... Kai Jr. is now rated 64 overall before we go into this game against I uh, Bayern Munich. And we're actually back from an injury. So, FC Bayern Munich versus Ajax in the Champions League. This is the last Champions League group stage game before we either go out or go into the Euro Europa League. Let's see if we can have a good result today. Kai Kwam's first game back from his injury. He's pulled calf. Let's hope that it doesn't happen again. Cavani on the ball there for Bayern Munich. Who else have they got? They've got Cavani, Gotza, of course. Philippe Lam, back to Gotza. Good passing play. This is from Bayern Munich. Testing our defence. Passing well, Cavani. Oh, it's a poor ball, and it's actually blocked. So it's going to go out for a corner to Bayern Munich. On the stroke of half time, they've got the chance here to take the lead. It's going to be Rubery to swing this one in. Three minutes to go. 
Come on, let's just defend it and get it away. Cross comes in. Headed away. No, it's in. It's in off the post. I'm not sure. Did that hit the bottom of the goalkeeper or the post? Let's have another look at that if we can. But by Munich, either way, have taken the lead on the stroke half time. 1 0. And it's Sebastian Schweinsteiger with that goal. Or Bastian. It's not Sebastian, is it? It's Bastian. Bastian Schweinsteiger. There we go. Boom. Yeah, in off the post. Good finish there. Right swinging. Our folly. In off post. Great finish. 1 0 then. The Germans lead. Second goal in the Champions League for him. And just a couple of minutes to go. Kai's over there. He's open. Oh, what's he trying to chip it through for? Should have just sweated it to the side. I would have put that one in. Come on, we don't want to lose this one. Ball over the top. He's offside. And it looks like Bayern Munich are going to be winning this one 1-0, one which is going to keep us probably bottom of the group, meaning we won't go into the Europa League, unfortunately. I have no idea what the other game is with Zenit, St. Petersburg and Roma. Where is Bayern Munich looking to attack again? Can they get the second goal? Philip Lahm now playing it onto the left. And there is the final whistle. Bayern Munich get the 1-0 win then. Three points for them. I think they finished top of the group. I don't think we finished third. And we're going to sim this last game against Willem 2. Before we end this episode, can we finish with a victory and three points in the league? Come on. Skip. Oh, 1-1 one, one draw. Dessart with the only goal for Ajax. Thanks for watching guys, if you like the video please hit like, comment if you want to below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, peace!